I would like to welcome you to Eat Well, Live Well with Be Well and Dr. Darren Green. Yes, our Morning. resident doctor, Dr. DG Darren Green is back in the studio. We're talking about fat, the good, the bad and the ugly. Dr. Darren, how are you, my brother? Fantastic, man. Thank you. So, um, yeah, this is interesting. So I think first, yeah, let's unpack. Good fats and bad fats. What exactly is it? Everyone thinks of those confusing terms. And, and it is confusing, it man. It is, man. Monounsaturated, polyunsaturated, poly. saturated. Trans, etc. Oh, et trans fat. Yeah. So let's, let's just break it down and make it quite simple. Please. Yeah. There are fats that are, are, are actually good for you, and there are fats that are bad for you. Right. What, what you must remember are unsaturated fats. Unsaturated. Okay. Not saturated. Unsaturated implying that there won't be saturation and blocking of the pipes in terms of the heart blood vessels. Right. Unsaturated is better for you. You get monounsaturated okay. and polyunsaturated. Yes. Now, the monounsaturated fats are very good. You find them in canola oil, olive oil, etc. as well. Right. But more importantly, you also need to understand the source of those foods in, in things like nuts, etc. as well. But when it comes to polyunsaturated, the two big ones that we know of uh, that are, are need to be consumed in our diets are omega-3. Right. And that's obviously been proven medically to be quite beneficial to us. Uh, and then obviously the other one is omega-6. Now, yes. omega-6 can't be taken in high quantities because it could have pro-inflammatory uh, really? But, okay. Know, it can cause inflammation rather than, than help you. So the advantages of the polyunsaturated fats are, and omega-3 particularly is it drives down the, the bad loser cholesterol. You get lipoproteins, which are the way that fats travel around in the bloodstream. Right. And the LDL is what you'll see on your blood results. Yeah. The LDL is the loser lipoprotein, the one that's bad for you. Okay. We want that to go down and we want the, the HDL, HDL to go up. Right. And that's what the unsaturated fats do for you. The bad fats, on the other hand, are the ones that are called saturated fats. And those are the ones that are trans fats. And you'll see those in products like your, obviously, your chips, your fries, yes. et cetera, et cetera. And those are the ones that can wreak havoc, increase your risk of developing things like cardiovascular disease and stroke, et cetera. And so, so basically what you're saying as well, which is great, thank you for unpacking that. That's still a lot of information <laughs> to remember. But unsaturated, we got that LDL needs to go down, HDL needs there to go up. There you go, there you go. We got it. Now, we use, of course, our b -well canola oil, the different variations, the olive oil on the cook, show yeah. quite when we cook as well. So what you're saying is that can actually be good for your cholesterol. Yeah, you can take healthy ingredients, yeah. but because of the oil you're using, you can actually make it unhealthy. Yeah. So canola oil above sunflower oil, for example, is quite important because of the ratio of omega-3 to 6. Yeah. The, the ratio that they aim for with the canola oil is a 2 to 1 ratio, where your omega 6 to 3 ratio is 2 to 1. In that, in itself, the benefits, health benefits of yeah. your lipogram and your lipid, your lipid profile are definitely assisted. And that's what people don't know. So do you, see, do you find people are moving away from, from sunflower oil, going into more the canola kind of oils? Or what's, what, have, what have you seen? I find it extremely interesting in South Africa that people here have had such a, a long-standing attachment to sunflower oil. Yeah. In the first world countries, I mean, in the, in the States, in Europe, uh, we, we see that they've moved over to canola oil long ago. So it's yeah. very interesting in South Africa. I think, uh, you know, one would in the past blame things on price, but things have certainly changed over the last few years yeah. now in terms of availability and cost efficacy. But with the, with the knowledge and science that's emerged on the damage that mm. obviously the other, other fats can cause, one, one must be mindful of this. Absolutely. And also, of course, the drive towards more healthier lifestyles as well, probably a shift in focus. 100%. Um, so, so just quickly, man, when it comes to your... your your kind of saturated foods as considered saturated fats, burgers, that kind of thing. We love it. Does that mean the slop chips? Stay away, the slop chips. No, yeah. So that can't be the norm. That can yeah. be a, a you know an exception, maybe once a month or so. Okay. But that can't be the norm because of yeah. obviously the, the pathways and how that leads to cardiovascular uh, effects. And all right. Well, if you follow, follow a, a kind of a, a religious exercise routine, I'm sure you don't have to feel too bad about you eating that once in a while. Burn, baby, burn. There burn, baby, burn. <laughs> Doctor Gigi. <laughs> <laughs> He's, here. He's going to be back a little bit later on for our Tuesday Health Talks. Don't miss that.